What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about Wi-Fi and how much Wi-Fi do these phones use? That's the question. I got two routers. These are Netgear Nighthawks. They are tri-band routers so I'll show you guys real quick. I got the box over here. Nighthawk X6S AC400. Pretty badass router. But I need that because I got so many devices. Now, um, data. How much data are you guys going to use? When I first started phone farming, let me turn this fan off. When I first started phone farming, I got an email like this. And I had no idea that you actually had a data cap on your internet connection. And it was saying that I could only use 1,024 gigabytes. And they were going to charge me an extra $10 for every 50 gigabytes. So I was like, okay. And then look, when I just first started, I was using... It got a little bit over there and then I was like okay I need to get the unlimited plan and then look boom now every thousand gigabytes is a terabyte so I was using three terabytes of data last month so you can imagine how much I would get charged in overages now the way I got my uh, phone farm set up this is my main router and I actually have the second router plugged in as an access point. Now, I'm using the same router too. And it's also kind of like an insurance. Because if this one ever goes bad, I can just swap it out and make this my main. But if you guys are just getting into phone farming, you don't need to buy anything crazy like this. You could just use the router that comes standard with your uh, internet service provider and that should be sufficient enough but you want to keep an eye on your data and how much you're using because if you start to get towards the cap that your internet service provider says that you like for me for example xfinity that was my cap once you get close to that cap you're going to want to consider getting unlimited data because then you're not going to be going over and you're not going to be paying extra. And another thing you also want to consider getting is the faster internet service. I'm using the one gig, as you can see. Gigabyte, gigabit tier, uh, internet tier. That's supposed to be my download speed and upload speed. But it's not like that when you got this many devices this uh phone right here i actually have uh hooked up to a 5 point gigahertz and let's test it right there all i did was uh, go on to google and put internet test speed on there there's a bunch of different internet test speeds that you can use i'm just going to use this one for the video so that first one, that first number, that was my download speed. That's probably the most important one because if you're phone farming, that's going to be how you're getting your, your videos. So they're going to rate me. They said it's fast. That's good. Now here I got a, oh, I already tested it, but let's test it again. This one is a... Uh, LG Rebel 3 hooked up to 2.4 gigahertz as you can see not as fast now a 5 gigahertz channel is going to be a different wavelength um, you're going to want it really close closer to your routers than you would a 2.4 there you go 21.9 see pretty much double And 
the 5 gigahertz is going to want to be closer to your router than the 2.4. Now, let's test my computer. Oh. Sorry, it's kind of messy in here. As you can see, it is a lot better. Not quite a gig, but we'll take it. I think the last time I tested it was like 300. Now that one's uh, hooked. This isn't Wi-Fi. This is hooked up with a Ethernet cable. So you're going to get a better experience. So yeah. Uh, here's another great uh, app you could use. It's called Wi-Fi Analyzer. I was using it when I was having my Wi-Fi problems. It looks like this. And basically, it's just going to tell you your strength of your router and what's available. And it will also tell you the channels that it's on. So you can actually go into your router and change your channels. I'm not going to get into all that, but... And uh, most of the newer routers, they'll actually uh, switch the channel for you to find the best channel because you want to be... You see how it's like in between these two? You want to have, if it's in between these, you're going to have a better chance to uh, pick up that signal than if I were to be like right on top of this one or right on top of that one. But yeah, if you guys are phone farming, uh, keep an eye on your data because it can come around and bite you in the ass if you don't keep an eye on it and uh, that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to answer the question that uh, a lot of people have how much data do you use on a phone farm so I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy